Hey guys, so it's me, Lego Leaf 3 Chinagan here. Very excited to bring you my first ever Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review. And this is on set number 79102, the Stealth Shell in Pursuit. It costs about 20 US dollars, it's ages 6 to 12, and contains 162 pieces. Here's a front look at your very awesome box. I really love the look of these boxes, guys. They're really great looking. The boxes even look awesome from the back, featuring a nice little comic on the bottom there that's also featured in the instruction manual, and there's a, basically a look at the back of your box. This set features one instruction manual with only 32 pages of building. Alright, so first minifigure here is just a plain foot soldier. He comes in quite a few sets, definitely a good thing because you want to army build these guys if you're into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. He's not the most exciting figure in the world, unfortunately, but he does look pretty cool and he features some really nice printing there and he's holding two golden shurikens. The foot soldier also has back printing on his head and just plain old back printing. Alright, so the next minifigure here is probably one of the most unique LEGO figures you will see in a long time. This is Fish Face. He's an interesting character from the show of Mutated Human into a fish. And he looks really, really cool. Some of the printing that they added and some detail really look great. The hot pink color really works for this character. He really looks awesome. He's a completely custom mold. Um, he's made up of about five pieces. The arms, the only thing that are not new, the legs are new pieces. And of course, the body is the arms are the same kind of arms that you have seen on Gollum. But he is a fantastic looking minifigure. Last, but certainly not least for the minifigures here, is Raphael. And he looks really awesome. He features darker skin tone. A couple of Ninja Turtles have a little bit lighter skin tone, which is really cool. He has some really great front torso printing. His torso printing is unique because if you can see right around there, there's a little crack in his shell, which is really cool. He's holding two silver sides, and he has a really nice head mold with the red bandana and kind of a serious, aggressive looking face, and he looks really fantastic. There's a look at him from the back. The turtle shell is molded, and also the little headband has a nice um, ending part there, and that really looks awesome. Lego even awesomely threw in some nice back printing. The first piece here is Fish Face's little boat jet ski thing. This actually is pretty cool. It features some nice little colors. It's a lot bigger than I would have expected, which is really nice. It has some really great playability features with it as well. For starters, Fish Face sits on the boat there really well, and he can hold on to those little, you know, weird kind of gun pieces, and those can act as his control system. Like with most vehicles, it seems to be a standard these days. It does feature flick fire missiles. These flick fire missiles are facing the back, and they're pretty easy to push out, and there's one on either side. Then probably the best feature with this little boat here, probably maybe, probably the best feature in this set maybe, see these little pieces. These are stickers, only stickers on the top, these toxic waste cans. You can put right there and actually flick it, and it will go flying, which is pretty cool. Now the stealth shell was actually a really cool vehicle as well. It definitely reminds me a lot of the Tumbler from the Batman, which is really a great vehicle. We'll love that vehicle. This is a really cool looking vehicle as well. This vehicle also features full fire missiles, a ton of them. There are two in the front here, and there are a couple in the back, which is really cool. But the nice thing about these ones is that they all can rotate 360 degrees, so you can shoot them wherever you want. Like most LEGO cars, this vehicle does roll very, very smoothly and very nicely. Some of the coloring is really cool. I really love those color pieces. We'll be seeing a lot of those in these turtle sets and Shima sets coming up. Looks really nice. The back here looks really cool. I think the vehicle just has a nice shape to it and it really looks like kind of like a stealthy gray turtle shell and it's really awesome. Now you're wondering how does Raphael get into this thing. Now it does open up here. That's not how you get him in though. What you do is you actually lift it up right there and there is the inside. I don't know if you can tell, but those little tiny printed pieces are little like gauges. Those look really fantastic. Those pieces that we saw in the pre Vizzles Mandalorian Starfighter are also featured in there, which is really, really cool. Although you have to lay Raphael completely down, he does fit in there pretty well in his size clip onto the side. It's very easy to close the cockpit there and it looks really fantastic. All right guys, so final verdict on this set. It's really cool, especially for $20, that price is pretty darn good. Might not be the best price or piece in the world, but the stuff there you get in this set is pretty big. It's a nice little chase scene with some pretty cool playability features. I'm definitely gonna get this set an eight out of 10 with some really unique minifigures. I definitely recommend you go get this set. I'll see you guys next time, bye.